Tapped in, tapped in Keep the credit, I'ma get it on the back end Kick rocks, cutting corners, trying to cash in We still outside, high as gas is Watch them force you to EV Try to cut me out, but you need Yo, what's up YouTube? Back at you with another video on today. Make sure you hit that subscription button, subscribe to the channel. It is the Keeping It Raw podcast, knocking out some NBA content for you on today. Make sure you also hit that subscription button, subscribe to the channel. Click on the bell so that you'll be notified whenever we put up an upload. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. We're going to talk about Tyrese Maxey, and he's all maxed out. Let's get right into it. All right, now Tyrese Maxey is one of my favorite guards in the league. I watched this kid play at Kentucky, and I'm going to say one thing on the record. Most of the Kentucky players, when they come into the league, they ball out. And I'm going to give you guys uh, a little uh, IE. IE, Anthony Davis, Malik Monk, DeAndre Fox, uh, also Tyreek Maxey. Also, I think that Rob Dillingham is going to be that dude, too. When he comes into the league and he's playing with the Minnesota Timberwolves, I think Rob Dillingham is going to be a, a great player for the, uh, the Minnesota Timberwolves. And then not only that, you also have uh, Devin Booker as well and DeMarcus Cousin as well. So it's a lot of players that come from Kentucky that come into the league, and these guys ball out, man. I love what Kentucky – does when it comes to bringing the talent into the NBA. But now Calipari is now down there with the uh, the Arkansas Razorbacks. So we'll see what he do with the Arkansas team uh, because I know he's been at Kentucky for a very, very long time. And he did take some of those players from uh, Kentucky over to Arkansas. So we're going to be, you know, all eyes is going to be on Arkansas and seeing what these guys can do as well. But Maxie is one of those dudes that had to get it out of the mud when he first came into the NBA, he had to earn every single thing that he had to. I mean, he had to earn playing time. He had to earn uh, more minutes. And he he's one of those guys that you could truly say is worth getting the money that he got paid because he got better and better. Every single opportunity that this kid was given, he got better. And that's something that I really, really like about Maxie. I think that Maxie is going to be one of the best guards in the league for the next five, 10 years, whatever. I think that uh, Maxie is going to be that good. Uh, the dude is phenomenal young talent. And over the, uh, over the past four years, one of the biggest bright spots too for the Philadelphia 76ers have been the rapid development of Tyrese Maxie. The young guard has been patiently waiting for his second contract from the Philadelphia 76ers, and finally they rewarded him on Monday at the start of free agency report surfaced that the Sixers will address Maxie's contract extension after they make their moves on going after Paul George. Um, it was a busy first 12 hours of the day for Dale Morey, making a flurry of additions to the team. If you do not know, the uh, the Sixers also brought back um, Andre Drummond, and they brought back uh, they brought back uh, my boy. What is my boy? He's a small forward, and he can play the two guard. Kelly Oubre also brought back Kelly Oubre as well. Uh, the Sixers uh, made some big splashes, man, and definitely is going to get their team uh, competitive. They have a good team. The Sixers' biggest splash came last night when they inked uh, forward Paul George, taking him away from the L.A. Clippers. Uh, came Monday morning, the Sixers were ready to lock down Maxi long term. And pretty much between Maxi and Paul George, they're giving out like $400 million between those two guys alone. So you know when Joel Embiid, when it's time for him to get a new contract, it's going to be a huge deal, man, with Joel Embiid. So long as Joel Embiid can stay healthy, man, I think that this team will be good. If Paul George and, and – uh, Joel B stays healthy. This team is going to ball out. They're going to they're going to be a good team, man. They're going to be one of the best teams in the East, alongside of Milwaukee, alongside of Boston, uh, the Knicks, and all the uh, the other teams, Cavs, Magic, all the other teams that've been making it to the postseason as well. But uh, yeah, the reports came out that the two sides had agreed to terms on a max extension that will keep the rising star in Philly for the next five years. Maxi is coming off. His best season as a pro, emerging as the Sixers' new league guard, 
He finished the 2024 season with the averages of 25.9 per game, 3.7 rebounds per game, and 6.2 assists. This level of production landed Maxi on his first All-Star team this season and resulted in him taking home the most improved player award at the end of the season. With this contract, the Sixers have committed themselves to Maxi as their top guard moving forward. This position was a no-brainer for the Philadelphia 76ers, giving uh, Maxi uh, his rapid development and the connection on and off the floor with Joel and B. So Maxi is one of those guys that straight up earned his contract. He earned that money. So, you know, I know some fans may be like, nah, they shouldn't have gave him that much. But no, this kid was straight up handling his business out on the floor and at times had to lead this team in scoring when Joel Embiid was not there. He had to put the, they had to put the ball in Maxie's hands and he delivered. He delivered. So Philly has three star level players signed to multi-year contracts with them. Bede, Maxie, and George leading the charge. The Sixers have an opportunity to get back into the title picture in 2025 and beyond. So, yes, man, the Philadelphia 76ers will be a contender next season. The only thing with the Philadelphia 76ers is Paul George, which he played a career high last year, 74 games. Now, the last past four seasons, Paul George only played, he only played like 56 games, like out of four seasons with the Clippers. But last year, he had a career high with 74 games. So, shout out to Paul for being able to play that many games. But the biggest thing is going to be Joel Embiid staying on the floor, staying healthy, because if Joel Embiid stays on the floor and stays uh, healthy, he's definitely going to be looking like an MVP again. He was on his way probably to winning an MVP before he did, uh, before he got hurt because I do believe Joel Embiid was leading the league in scoring. So a very talented team, man. I, li I like what the Philadelphia 76ers are doing. They're bringing in depth. And they're bringing in guys that's going to uh, definitely help this team. Now, they did lose Tobias Harris, but they did bring back Kelly Oubre. And they do have Paul George. So that's going to kind of clean up and help for them losing Tobias Harris to the Detroit Pistons. But at the same time, this team is going to be a better team. Especially, they're going to be able to compete with Boston. They're going to be able to compete with the Milwaukee. Uh, they're going to be able to compete with the Miami Heats, the the rest of these teams that get into the postseason, like uh, the Cavs, because that team is going to be strong. But if Joel Embiid can stay healthy for in the whole entire season and through the playoffs, then they have an, a great opportunity to win an NBA championship. Because I know that that's what Joel Embiid has been trying to do for the last past few seasons, is trying to get to the finals. And it's going to be tough, man, to get to the finals. It's going to be tough. But if he can stay healthy, get himself in tip-top shape, and Paul George can stay healthy and on that floor, then the skies is going to be the limit for the Philadelphia 76ers uh, going forth. But definitely, man, I love everything, what the Sixers are doing, bringing in depth, and then being able to go out and get guys that's going to really, really uh, help the trajectory of the team in 2024. So, all right, guys, leave it in the comment section what you think about Tyrese Maxey in a new deal he signed with the Sixers. I'm out of here until next time. Peace. Tapped in, tapped in. Keep the credit, I'ma get it on the back end. Kick rocks, cutting corners, trying to cash in. We still outside, highest gas is. Watch them force you to EV. Tried to cut me out, but you need me. My value never shows up in the box score. A plus minus they never could have accounted for. No referee can save you. Read your scouting report. And even then, you don't stand a chance. Circumstance, thank God for Poe for lending me that band. I probably would have quit by now. Everybody that I started with them been died out. Except quitting and push. Think of bugs every day. I'm not as free as I look. Cause she need the OB and pour over.